Hey everybody, welcome to another Pokemon Crystal Alliance randomized tournament match. This is got a, we've got a round two match today between Jarvis and Gabriel Campos. I'm Garfield the Lightning. These two have both lost their first match, so they'll be looking for their first win here. And yeah, I don't think I've seen Gabriel Campos race before, but looking forward to it. Looking forward to seeing what's going on, and uh, now I can't see the stream. Excellent, hold on, that's my problem, that's my fault, I think. Let me come back. There we go. Alright, so, let's start this off. Are still here. Uh, the Twitch is having a few issues, but hopefully they get sorted out. Before the end of this, oh, immediate cascade man. Alright, alright. Start of the to go on. Give us the uh, storm badge next, why don't you? Gold bean, sand slash, okay, black one. Okay, a string, there we go. Definitely the take here, you give your rival a gold bean, and the string, very strong Pokemon. Loads of attack. Decent, that, surprisingly okay special attack too. Base 75 on a generally a physical attacker. It's nothing to sneeze at. Normal type gets a lot of tab move. And we have it all straight away from our strength as well, I think. Oh, we'll have some speed on. Let's all pull. Well, you know, Gabriel's got something else in there. Maybe it's just. Oh no, it's a gold. Oh, it, it was from the. It was from the A. But you get a high level Pokemon on Route 30 to Route 29, so. I mean, it's reasonable either way. Gabriel has it's not repelling. He does have one Ultra Ball, so he can attempt to catch one of the Pokemon if he wants to. But he's a Jarvis, he's the first one, well, hopefully he uh, comes back for it then. Well, it was TM8 since he's like up anyway, so not even the gloss. It's okay gear though. We'll need that to get past the Snorlax. I feel like making a bit of time off of these encounters. So we have Body Slam Dragon Knight with Thunderbolt as well, so it's got some. definitely got some good moves to cover it. Well. I suppose good coverage. We probably need a little more than electric normal to take good coverage. Yeah, Waterman's weakness, always scary. Secret potion from Oak, thank you very much. Won't have to double dip the lighthouse. Okay, so, oh, it's got Sacred Fire as well, and Mega Horn, or attacking me on Dragonite, it's solid. I don't think really we walk on a whole lot with that move, then. Eh? I mean, you're not ideally set up for Rock Ground size, but Mega Horn is useful. That would do. Always, always, always in the back of your mind, you're a little bit scared taking your report country all the way to the end, so... So the Jarvis might be hoping for maybe an early access to Kanto, just like, you know, steamroll some of the early game with the Dragonite's fight, that's some good moves. 
and then switch off to something a bit more a bit more reliable later on. Or just don't see any ice moves forehead. Bit of Gabrielle also finds the Dragonite. And also catches it. Unfortunately, because he because he um, caught the Dragonite after visiting Mr. Pokemon, he does have to go back to the center if he wants to heal Dragonite up. HMO7 there, and a Storm Badge. Half of Fly and half of Waterfall. And okay, they just keep coming, huh? The Soul Badge too, why not? And a Paralyzed Heal, okay. 3 out of 4 though, pretty solid. It's kind of like Hype Cave in Link to the Past Randomizer is. It's not usually that exciting, we don't usually find so many thing, useful things in one chamber. But you didn't have to sacred fire the swine up, honestly. Could have just body slammed that thing. But no, Jarrett's absolutely no mercy. Still, he has used two of his five sacred fires on the first trainer. It probably won't matter. But I think you gotta. You, I, 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 you know, it's always a little bit concerning to you be so. To be that liberal against things that may not need to be hit by sacred fire. Gabriel accessing his treasure vault as well. Ice Beam from Ninetales! Mm. That's nasty. Yeah, when you're going through the early game with a dragon out with great moves, you're just hoping not to run into something like that. Oh, that's nasty. Yeah, it just kills. There's not much you can do here. Well, 
Well, luckily you don't have to clear Sprout Tower to move on. You do have to beat Faulkner, but you don't have to beat the Elder. So you, we can we can come back here later if we have to. Just gotta hope that progression, immediate immediate progression, is not on the Elder. We could try it again after Faulkner, but I don't know if that's gonna be enough. That's true, yes, Ninetales being a stone evolution is never gonna forget Ice Beam. Please don't also have Nine Tails, Faulkner. Okay. <laughs> Wait, Butterfree and Beedrill, excuse me? I got more of a cohesive theme going on here than Bugsy does in the vanilla game. But yeah, nothing on Faulkner. But after we beat Faulkner, we can move on. The way the way south has opened up to us. Also, oh, Gabriel able to paralyze Nine Tails. You might be able to beat that with Switch on, perhaps. But you'd still have to get lucky. You still die in one hit to Ice Beam. So probably not worth the bother. I mean, I wouldn't mind so much the Elder having flies. It's it's like Elder having Squirt Bottle that would be really bad. Like you go to Goldenrod, discover there's just no way out, and like, well, gotta go back and maybe fight the Elder. But yeah, if he if if he were to have something like fly, I guess he might not be checked for a long time. That's the pass, though, so we do have a way out of Goldenrod. Into Kanto, and then we can... We can swap to something... That doesn't have this 4 times ice weakness. Now, it'll be interesting to see whether these two do uh, do Azalea now or not, because, like, you're probably fine with a Stragonite, but, yeah, just one fast thing with an ice move, and that can definitely mess you up. You don't want to get locked in Azalea by your rival having the Ninetales, for example. I guess we could teach Waterfall to Dragonite if we wanted. Maybe over Megahorn or something. But not not particularly necessary, I don't think. Jagavis is going to do Slowpoke well. You don't want to leave Fly, Fly behind, to be fair. And like right now we can get out of Goldenrod, but we can't get into North Johto. So scary to 
leave that behind in Azalea. That's our last sacred fire. Oh no! We just we just used our last sacred fire PP, and it could have thawed us out from that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I think it can still do that in this game anyway. I know it can in later games. I think that Sacred Fire can thaw you in this game too. It could just be Flame Wheel in this game. I could be getting that wrong. But <laughs> if if he really used his last Sacred Fire right before he got frozen, that is just uh, that's just too that's just too good. Yeah. I thought Sacred Fire could thaw you out. That's too funny. Meanwhile, Gabriel getting wrecked by paralysis from that Arcanine. And it's super effective Dragon Breath. Arcanine and Ninetales, jeez. I think people have experimented with, like, hint systems for these modes. Like, reading signs and stuff that can give you some kind of vague hint on where you're going. Chow is weighing up side beam here. I don't think it would be that helpful. It's just not as strong as his other moves. What you're really looking for is Earthquake for the Ninetales or something. Alright, so Quagsire is Outrage, but luckily it's not particularly high offense Pokemon. But Jarvis is healing because he's out of his accurate move in Body Slam. Megahorn does only have 85% accuracy and can't hit it with anything else. But he still has PP for it. There's the squirt bottle, alright, so now we can just get get out of get out of uh, Golden Rod and access North Johto and Kanto. Lots of the world open to us now. And <laughs> that's true, yeah, fly could be anywhere, huh? Pretty much. It can be pretty much anywhere where it logically, you know, can be without the gate, because the, 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 uh, the, this randomizer does have settings where it doesn't place fly too late, but, but yeah, we can, we do have access to Kanto and North Shoto right, right away, so, could be in a lot of those places. But with that, Jar, it's, Looks like he is, uh, well, I don't know if he's gonna do, I don't know if he's gonna do Bugsy or not. He might just like to do this first and then come back to get the charcoal and then fight, fight the gym. The Rainbow Wing. We're getting quite a lot of items early on. Nothing we can do with the Rainbow Wing yet. We're waiting for the Clear Bell to be able to do something with that. Part of our Tin Tower access.
Gabriel must have his base with you by now. I think that was in Slowpoke well. Jarvis can move on from here with a clear conscience now. He's done all he can. And he's gotten a fair bit out of it. Got the basement key, the squirt bottle, the rainbow wing. No parts of Surf yet, so if you do want to main switch in Kanto, it'll be on Cycling Road at the moment. The hidden items don't seem to be working out so well for Javits today. A lot of things that will clog up his inventory a bit. He finds sweet scent here, so doesn't have to buy it if he doesn't want a main switch. What is he ems? He is teaching it, so he may well be considering that main switch. Gabriel's Rainbow Wing. That's Mega Kick, I think. Pain Split. And Conversion 2. Not very good moves. Jarvis, hoping for that special main, did not buy many X attacks. That's pretty solid, especially with no strength at this point. Body Slam. Really good normal move. Thunder, if we're desperate, I guess. And there's another badge, the Volcano Badge. Probably still too early to really talk about, to, to really think about, you know, having to go into the Radio Tower early. We are only at four badges, but that's still a reasonable amount at this point in, at this point in the run.
Alright, well that's our fifth badge. Maybe now, maybe now we can start thinking about the possibility of early rain, early radio tower. But I guess not really, because yeah, we have access to a lot of Kanto now. But no surf yet, you know? It, it could, could have surf behind it, for all we know. We would need the card key to do most of it. But still, I'm just saying, there's always a chance. That's true, we could do early basement as well. Like, we we are kind of running out of time to do early basement. We have the basement key, and as soon as we get seven badges, that basement will be swarming with, with, with rocket members. But... I wouldn't feel confident taking it on with a dra taking on rival four with a dragonite. Jarvis getting a little unstuck on that ride on. If he is de if he does want to if he does want to beat Whitney now, he can teach Waterfall. This is kind of the this is the kind of Pokemon I imagined wanting to teach Waterfall for. Yeah, Jarvis does. Yeah, Jarvis has to remember to go back for the Marsh badge. There we go. Okay, looks like Jarvis is just not fighting Whitney. That's fine too. Can fight her. Can fight her anytime, really. But yeah, as far as we know, she is very beatable right now. Gabriel looks like he's going straight to Kanto. Like, we're not particularly close to having Surf, so... You know, Jarvis probably trying to... You know, hoping that he'll get some... Some... Some way to use Surf, but like... When we don't have either, we don't have the fog badge or HMO three, so it's not looking likely. It's looking like if we do do want to main switch in Kanto, we can just we will just be going to the cycling road, and then we'll have an easier time against Whitney, probably, <laughs> unless it's something else that just can't hit it. But like we have waterfall, you know, we that's always that's that's always there for if we need a way to take out that ride on. Nothing in the National Park, though. Okay, so Jarvitz... Not going into Kanto yet. I thought he might main switch, but maybe he is going to just do a few more checks here first. Oh, the card key is on Mr. S on Mr. Psychic. Okay. Well, you know, we're not we're not far off that seven badges. Jarvis is going to take care of that loose end, the elder. Gabrielle is going to look for that main on Cycling Road. Surely Ninetales gets one shot now, right? Yeah. And the Elder Gibbs? The Fog Badge! Wow! Okay, so there's there's half of our surf. But because of where it is, it's you know I mean Gabriel will 
almost certainly come back and do this at some point. And he's not too hard to get to now with the squirt bottle. But yeah, Gabriel not finding what he was looking for in Kanto. So he's just he's just continuing with Dragonite. Which is fine as long as we don't run into any ice moves, you know? It was only a problem on the Elder so far. And then we had that Arcanine with Dragon Breath, but you know. That's much less scary than Ice Beam Nine Tails. Okay. Is Jarvis going to try Whitney again? Nope. He's back in Goldrod now, so... I do imagine he... We might be seeing a Kanto visit from him. Now that we have the Fog Badge, we're... Well, there's loads of places Surf could be still, though, honestly. Yeah, Jarvis has Rock Smash now, he's able to buy that. You're able to buy that after talking to the guy next to the Sudder Widow tree after using the squirt bottle on it. Okay, so he is going to fight Whit Whitney again. Are we going to see Waterfall being taught here? Gabriel does check the the Kenya, but it is a, another Pokemon with a four times weakness, and it <laughs> it's a little less impressive than Dragonite. PS teaching waterfall. I thought so. Ooh, dab wing attack on Dragonite now, huh? Ah, uh, it's it's yeah. I mean, it's mostly got the similar coverage to Sacred Fire, and like we can just go through the Steel types with Waterfall pretty much. So that's that's fine, I think. But yeah, 35 PP, 60 power move is really good, especially in in a mode like Full Light and Randomizer where you're having to do, sometimes having to do long gauntlets of fights. Really nice to have such a good spammable move. Gabriel did not dip back into Sprout Tower during that during that little visit, so so yeah. I mean, he 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 he'll yeah. He doesn't have he'll he'll have to he will have to come back at some point to get the fog badge. There's nothing we can do with it right now because we don't have we don't have Surf yet. But hopefully, he doesn't miss out on it for too long. Of course, if we get Fly, then it'll be easier to, to go back and check that. Yeah, I wonder if Jarvis is thinking, like, you know, that he might only main switch at this point if he 
if he get if if he's able to surf. Like he's invested a decent amount in this dragon ice already. It might not be worth it for him to to try that cycling road main switch. Like whenever you are doing a main switch, you are investing time into you know maybe not getting anything good. And it's a little more justifiable to make that kind of play when you're getting, like, you know, levels in the high 30s as opposed to the high 20s or low 30s. Here we go. Surf, surf on fan club president? Nope. <laughs> but he, he is giving uh, some kind of revive, so... Jarvis does want a space for that in his in his bag. Oh, it's a max revive too. Yeah, you definitely want you definitely want that. Well, we're two poker gear parts away from Stolax. It's it's like the, the those can those can be just anywhere. So it's hard to say that we're close to that. Clearbell's only one item, I suppose, but there's a lot of places that could be too. Of course, we could release the Romers at any time. Those are all level 40 possible main switches as well, if we want. But, you know, they're pretty unreliable to find. Another badge! Rainbow badge on the fishing guru. So that does open up Radio Tower. And Jarvis is like, nope. <laughs> I don't want that yet. So perhaps he is considering an early basement. Now Gabriel has gotten rid of Thunderbolt on Dragonite. So he's uh, unfortunately paying for it here. After coming up uh, coming up against that rollout cabo tops, but yeah, I'll unmark the rainbow badge for now because he did reset it away, but he knows where it is. Okay, so he is looking here. I wasn't sure he would, but Jarvis is going to check a cycling road. It will still be an upgrade if you find something good. So what's Gabriel's moveset now? He has Body Slam, Sacred Fire, Wing Attack, Mega Horn, I think? That does have a few more holes, I think, than Jarvis's moveset, like... He did crit burn the ride on this time, so that helps, but... Obviously much easier to Thunderbolt this. Not Thunderbolt, Waterfall. <laughs> Aim for the horn! Oh, Crocodile's alright, you know? But Jarvik's not interested. Dragonite is a good main when you're not getting hit by ice moves. But, like, we have already seen on the Elder how scary just coming up against something with an ice move can be. And like, you know, if Red with a lead Ninetales, you're not beating it with Dragonite. Unless you... I, I guess you can stall out Ice Beam, perhaps, but like, you don't want to do that. I don't know. Though. I think I think I think um, Crocknall could have been a consideration. It evolves the next level at, the le at level thirty into for alligator. It is generally more of a physical main, I guess. But uh, 
But you know, you have water, you have waterfall. You'll hopefully get surf before too long. Seeing back-to-back -back optionals on uh, both both races sides here, so evening out a little bit. And this, <laughs> oh, this blast always had blizzard. All right, well, thankful, thankful, thankfully, we're able to two shot that. Gabriel's going to buy his Rock Smash now. Oh, I was going to be like, and there's why when Jarvis got a badge from smashing that rock in Burn Tower, but uh, only a super potion. Come on, work with me here, game. Critical ice move, no dude. Mm. Okay. I mean, Waterfall was not the move to use there, to be fair. I, I, I think it would have lived Thunderbolt still, though. Noctowl's special defense is pretty decent. But yeah, he has revived, so he's alright. Romer time. Are these like menu before them or something? What do you think, guys? What do you think at home? What do you think those rumors were? And that's Suicune. Yeah, the, the first one was definitely so style. I, 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 I'd, I'd probably have to listen to the second one again to know if it was like Seal, Dugong, Lickitung, whatever. And the third one, uh, I'm not sure what the Suicune was, actually. Oh, maybe Snubble. That sounds, that, that sounds like it could be right. Kimono girls not giving Gabriel anything. But yeah, nice to be able to come over here to Olivine with the secret potion already. I don't know if Charvitz all feels confident enough to take Jasmine on while he's here, but I mean, you know, it, it all depends on what she has. I guess you might as well at least give it a go. But we have to climb the lighthouse first anyway. Gabriel not getting crit by Ice Punch, so 
And, uh, yeah, so he's able to get through there. I was, I was going to say, and he used the right move, but actually it didn't really make a difference for Jarvis, because he wouldn't have KO'd anyway. I don't think we really have room for dra Dragon Breath, even if it is Stab. It does go off Dragonite's worse attacking stat. And doesn't... only hits Dragon super effectively, so we're probably alright with what we've got. Gabriella's going straight into Acritique Gym. Morty... has been required more often than not this tournament. But, like, it is, it's still, like, between 50 and 60% at this point, I think. So, you know, not like he's required all the time. Nothing in the lighthouse. Anything on Jasmine? Little thing you can do now to uh, save a little time over Jarvis, just uh, talk to Jasmine from below, and then you can go straight down to exit the gym because this door is two tiles wide. Okay, well thankfully it looks like Ampros is not dangerous, so we can set up on that. Mm, so Jasmine has a Cabritops as well, so Gabrielle might have a few more problems there. Like, wait, uh, like, Megahorn is neutral on it. So... Oh jeez, the Gengar has Blizzard. It missed twice, that is... Yeah, I mean, it just one-shots. Ooh! Okay, but it has used three out of, out of five, and it missed center it. So that's his last blizzard. Oh, but he... Okay, did he not have any more revives? I guess... I guess not. Dang, if he had another revive, he would have been able to win that, probably. Unless Gengar also had Ice Beam. So yeah, that's uh, that's another one that... <laughs> that's another trainer we might just... Do. That's another, another one we can just put off for a while. <laughs> It'd be pretty funny if Jasmine gave us Surf after the Elder, which we delayed, gave us Fog Badge. I would love that.
Maybe they're both swapping places here. No, Jarvis did not reset on Jasmine. He did, he um he wiped, and the last Pokemon Center he used was the one on Route 32, which is where he respawned. I honestly can't remember if he saved, and you know maybe he didn't either. Maybe he was like. If I reset and I didn't save, then uh, that's gonna suck. Because he did do that on Whitney, um, but he had but he had already done the automatic save from moving the Pokemon in the PC in the Radio Tower. So probably just probably just being a bit cautious there. I didn't even see what Morty gave us to be honest, I guess we'll find out when Jarvis beats Morty. I'm sure if he had anything exciting, chat would have told me. I mean, Morty definitely not required this this race because we have access to seven badges, so we'd be able to. Because what? Because like the conditions to opening Tin Tower, I you get the clear bell on the Rainbow Wing, and you either clear out the rockets from the Radio Tower, which needs seven badges and the card key, or you beat Morty. And we don't have seven badges, but we know where the Rainbow Badge is because Jarvis got it on Route 12 from the Fishing Guru, but he reset it away because you have to, you have to, because without Fly you have to go back and fight a trainer to get back to Saffron. So Gabriel is going for the Stab Dragon Breath. I think I would still prefer to have more coverage with my other moves. But definitely reasonable to have a second stab move. You can at least hit once hit like, you know, if you if you know which Pokemon are more physically bulky and which more specially bulky, you can kind of tailor what move you're using against them. We've already seen the Komodo's check from Gabrielle, and it didn't, and we didn't get anything from that. So yeah, where is, where is our surf? It's gonna, <laughs> is it gonna be on? Is it gonna be in the radio tower? Is it gonna be on Jasmine? Is it gonna be somewhere else? Where's our fly gonna be? Alright, we'll see if Gabriel has any better luck on Jasmine than Jarvis. Well, I mean, Jar Jarvis had decent luck, actually. I mean, Blizzard from Gengar missed a fair few times. He just didn't have the, the revives to pull off the win. Yeah, Sabrina? I don't think so. I feel like Sabrina's not been... She's not given us a whole lot this tournament so far. 
But yeah, with seven badges, she is in logic. But yeah, Gabrielle just gets hit by the first blizzard, unfortunately. But you can get past this with a few more X speeds. Like, just set up... I guess he only set up one, because you can just set up two X speeds on that, and you should be fine. As long as you can one shot. I don't know if he has... You know, he has a wing attack. I mean, with enough X attacks, he... that'll be enough. But you have to use... you'll have to use a few of these. Probably three? To get past the Gengar? I think he only used two, I'm not sure that'll be enough. It might be. Could be just underestimating Dragonite, but... Gengar does have a five level advantage. advantage. We'll see, we'll see. But yeah, looks like Jarvis is... Heading back to Jasmine. Dang, what did he use? What did Gabriel use there? It did not do very much. I can't imagine that was a wing attack. Dragon Breath, yeah. Yeah, you want to be using Wing Attack against Gengar if you're setting up your X attacks. Possibly just a uh, misclick. Okay, he sets up four. There, there's, he's, he's. I don't think you need any more than four. Okay, he's just. He set up five though. I mean, that's going to be more than enough, I think. I mean, I, I think I think two will be enough. Looking on how much that body slam did to the Ampharos after two, Gengar's not as bulky as Ampharos. All right, so oh, there we go. Pretty much simultaneous Jasmine KOs, and it was bait. We didn't get anything. Oh no! Gabriel resetting out of anger. Oh dear, I think. If <laughs> you didn't want to take the experience from that. He probably wanted to preserve his X items, to be fair. He did use a lot on that fight. Okay, so Jarvis may be going back to Kanto now. I think he's checked everything he can in Johto. I mean, you know, besi besides Radio Tower, but he reset away the Rainbow Badge. Early basement, let's go. He thought about it, but it, it looks like it looks like he's not going to not going to do that. I don't really blame him. He's already had some bad experiences against like higher level Pokemon with a nice move. So we might be seeing Sabrina or Janine, or he might just be going for that for that Rainbow Badge. Yeah, I think that's what he's going to do, just get the Rainbow Badge and probably head on into Radio Tower after that. There we go, seven badges, the 
Rocket invasion of Goldenrod Radio Tower has begun. Definitely a less scary prospect to take on than Sabrina at this point. Yeah, funny that bash attack. Well, this is not the trade that you uh, have to hit on the way back. It's Gengar again! No, get it out of here! Oh, Well, he can take the wipe, I guess. Maybe this is what he intended all, all along. Okay, this, this, this works, actually. How did you know to fight the Hat Trainer? Gabriel about to get his fog badge off the elder here. He is still one badge away from from being able to get to, to well, being able to to uh, to do the radio tower like Jarvis is doing. We haven't seen the dark cave rock smash checks yet, but it looks like Gabriel's not interested in that either. Gonna stay in logic. Those checks are out of logic until we get flash. Although you can do them if you know where you're going. Gabriel not interested in the early basement play either. Just gonna go to Kanto, look for look for more stuff. Yeah, we are. Uh, we are. We are. We we got the squirt bottom pass decently early, but uh, not a, not a whole lot of. HM's help us traverse the world. Gabriel gets his card key, which I I, I oh I, I guess he reset away. Like I, I he 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 knew where that was, but I never unmarked it. When did we get to level 35 on Dragonite? Wow. I feel like this has been a pretty decently high XP ROM. I see wind from you, nasty. Yeah, just any time we see an ice move, it's like, oh jeez, here we go again. Yeah, well, back to stocking up on X items. Or healing items. Yeah, I guess healing items is what he's going for at the moment. There's the rainbow badge for Gabriel. Radio tower is open for him now as well. No save, Jarvis is going straight in. Gabriel's gonna fight this. Uh, I forget how you're supposed to do this on the way back. I think you just. I think you have to do this and then reload the route in order to reset his position so you can go past him. Nice body slam power there. Helping Jarvis out. <laughs> this looks like also as icy wind, okay. 
And this Fero! What is this? This guy's team is themed around Pokemon that no Icy were in. Oh, the crit! I think that crit mattered against the Dragonite. Fero's special attack is not good. Chin Chow save us? I mean, we can just lose here though, it's not a huge deal. I don't know where Gabriel centered last, I guess we'll find out. It was an accurate seek, okay, that's, that's alright, that's alright. Not too far from Goldenrod. No stab ice move from Articuno, at least. It's Team Rocket taken care of. And there's Surf. There we go. Well, we have what we ha we we have, you know, probably what we were looking for to open up the world, but I imagine Jarvis won't stop there. We have the basement key. So, lots more items available to us down there. And no rockets now that we've cleared them out. We are still looking for fly. Gabriel gets the instant power on the Mew, so... Oh, jeez, Icy Wind is doing... I feel like it's doing more to... Well, it's doing more, a bit more to Gabriel's than it is to Jarvis's, but Jarvis was like two levels higher, I think. Yeah, I mean, Gabriel did, he, he did reset away the Jasmine experience. I pretty much blink and you'll miss it there on Rival 4. 
and Jobs will be able to pick up these items at his, at his leisure. And a mineral badge, okay. Very nice. Alright, so. Where's Jarvis going now? There is an item down here. And there's also the soft sand gills. If Jarvis would like to take them on now. Kind of a shame that you have to teach Surf to center it, because we already have Waterfall on Dragonite, but that's fine. Waterfall's like a coverage move anyway. There's a radio card. We did need we do need that. We need to wake up the Snorlax to access West Canto. And he is doing soft sand girls while he's here. Kind of, yeah, I've been mean, kind of harder to leave this behind because we still don't have fly yet. You don't want this to be the check with fly after, after, <coughs> you know, after all that time being like, oh, did my opponent do this? So we can do the serve stuff and we can fight um, Sabrina and Janine, and we can go up to towards Route 25, the one north of Cerulean, to get that item. That's it at the moment. Besides, like you know, in 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 Kanto, and then yeah, in Johto we can do some surfing around. We can go into the hideout this point. Could be the pharmacy item on Cyanwood, you know? There's a few places it could be. The mystery egg, huh? Well, that could be something. Now, we don't have strength yet, so we can't check a whole lot over here. But we can check Union Cave Basement. There's two items down there. Sarsakuna had air of last two, huh? I mean, it's, it's it's you know we can we can deal with it, but yeah, he has a max potion and he has an energy raise, Okay. Well, let's team rocket down from Gabrielle. He gets his surf. Excellent. Alright, well, with the, with the mystery egg, we do have like a bit more incentive to go through Dark Cave and do the rock smash checks there. Go back to New Bark. Uh, I mean, we we probably have done that anyway with having to surf to Tojo's check those two items as well. Another 
badge, and this is right next to the Zephyr badge check as well. Jarrett's would really hope for Fly to be one of these items, so that he can just, you know, come back, uh, fly, uh, so that he can just, you know, fly back after all that. If it's nothing that gives him progression, but something, but something he'll need for the end, he might just reset away anyways, and just come back for them later when he has Fly, because it is it is quite a long way back. But the way he's doing it, going through Dark Cave first, does mean he'll have to fight Rival 1 to check the item in, in Cherry Grove. But yeah, still a long way back even if he does have to do that fight. And if he, even if he does that fight and clears the path, it's still a heck of a long way back from Tojo. Anyway, not like it's a long fight or anything. We're seeing rivals Goldeen and Seeking going down at the same time. Anything here? Anything at all? Nothing yet. Three more checks Jarrett can do right now. Mystery egg check and the two checks around the Tojo Falls area. And he gets cut out out of it. Uh, this is this is kind of annoying because we can't use this yet, but. If we find a Hive Badge later, then yeah, I mean, he is saving, he's... He doesn't want to reset that away. In case he does get the Hive Badge, just like... You know, hide, hide, like, cut, fly could be behind Cut in the Lake of Rage, you know? So yeah, Soft and Girls... Giving us something that is probably going to be useful. Like, we don't strictly speaking need Cut to finish the game. You can wake up the Stalax and then... and then access West Kanto via... Um, via, via the Tojo side. That is the expansion card for Jarvitz though, so he can wake up that Stalax now. Not that he can... Not that he can really do much past there yet, because we don't have we can't use cut or waterfall to get to West Canto. Missing the badges from, from either one. But definitely some useful stuff being found. I thought Gabriel might want to teach, teach Surf to Dragonite, 
because he is, he's held, he held off on teaching Waterfall earlier, and Surf would be a slightly stronger version of that, but it seems like he's content with the moves that he has right now. But yeah, no fly for Jarvitz. We'll see if he goes back into Kanto or whether he goes towards the rocket hideout. And it looks like we're going towards that rocket hideout, perhaps. Unless we're going to check the pharmacy item, which I doubt, because there's only one item there. We probably want to wait until we have strength for that. We have more checks in Mount Mortar anyways, with Surf. Yeah, the Cedars... Uh, I mean, it, it's, not, it's not been super kind, has it? We've had a few strong Pokemon with ice moves. We've had, you know, we haven't found Fly yet. Didn't find Surf until we did Radio Tower. Like we still don't really, you know, we can't. It's, it's not a particularly narrow pool of items where Fly could be. That's a lot we haven't checked. Looks like Gabriel not going to check Union Basement just now. Just going to go back towards Violet, perhaps. Or maybe he'll go to Mel go to go to Mount Mortar. There's nothing in Mount Mortar Basement, but yeah, plenty more we can do here. We can do the Rocket Hideout now. Fly cannot be passed. Mahogany to the east. That is out of fly logic. We can head over, the, we can go east. Now we have seven badges, but we can't get very far because we need strength to get through Ice Path. So, not particularly appealing to go that way. Yep, looking like hideout from Jarvitz. Yeah, I remember in Gen 4 I caused a shiny pony to and I and I and I thought it was really cool having those blue flames. And then it kinda of looked a bit washed out when it evolved into Rapidash, but but something about the Gen 2 but something about how it looks in Crystal is really solid, the shiny Rapidash. Oh, with the tournament? I have not... I have not... I, I haven't seen anybody find a shiny in the tournament. There's less scope for it than in in the in the bingo tournament. Because you just not... you just... It, there's not as much incentive for finding Pokemon. But we know we have a lot of races lined up, so... I, you know, it, it would be cool to see it happen. Gabriel might be a little lost here. If he does get lost, he can always escape or out of here. The logic will never require you to go through dark areas without flash. 
for these races. But like if you're yeah, if you're if you're going back towards New Park Town and Cherry Grove anyway, it's nice to be able to do this in the dark if you can. It looks like he's found his way. Now? Don't know if he missed any items, I... I think he might, I think he's looking for one he might have missed. There we go. We do have maps for all these areas in um, in the in the in the in the tracker package on Emo Tracker that many of the races use. So if you get lost, you can always check those maps just to help you out a bit. find strength around here we can we can explore eastern mahogany if we want to no chance of getting fly from there but can loop back around to violet by going through dark cave again but you know we'd need strength first anyway That Mewtwo cry much less scary when it's 20 levels below our main. Look, boomers have been around for a while, they, you know. They know that they know their classics. Oh, Jarvis didn't talk to the bird. No. Oh, Jarvis. The boomers not only have Mew and Mewtwo, they also have fake Mewtwo as well. Gabriel also going towards the hideouts through Mount Mortar.
<laughs> wow, what the heck? You could've just ran, Jarvis. You really hate Flappy that much? So we found one item in the hideout so far, the plain badge, but that's it. And there's a lot of items in there, so, you know, we'll be hoping for something else, like, where the heck is Fly, you know? If it's not on price, well, I mean, it's gonna either be the pharmacy item, or we're gonna have to head back into, into Kanto. Still no fly. Alright then. Yeah. Jarvis can just check it check here now. Although, you know, he still doesn't have strength yet, so he actually can't check here all that much. I I tell a lie. He's gonna hope that strength is around here so he can just check a few bunch more stuff. But yeah, to reiterate, Fly cannot be east of Mahogany. It is set up that way so that theoretically we don't get Fly too late, but here we are one and a half hours in with no Fly. all Jarvis can do in here at the moment. Yep, so I'll have to go... I'll have to go back through, you know, back the way we came. Through Accuracy, to Goldenrod, or Signwood, or, 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 or towards Sign, or towards Olivine to get to Signwood, depending on whether Jarvis wants to check that one item under Pharmacy. I'd imagine we're probably going to be seeing Kanto again. Oh, there's also the plain batch check, of course. Gave us the machine part. Fly can't be... ...require you to enter the power plant, so... That's not gonna lead us to fly. But yeah, 
yeah, where are we going first? Sabrina? Yep, Sabrina. Fly could be here. It's one it's one item, but hopefully we're high enough level to be able to take her on here. Yes, Gengar, it's back! Oh, okay, Blizzard miss. Blizzard hit, no! <laughs> Why? Oh, goodness me. Just miss all your mate. Okay, alright. That's three Blizzards. Okay, four Blizzards. Why is he sending in Dragonite, dude? Okay, <laughs> he got away with that one, honestly. Like, he could have just... He could have tanked it with Sentra, but he... Just, you know, just dodge the blizzard, I guess. It's really that easy. Anyway, uh, Sabrina, not the answer. Yeah, but you could, like, send in Dragonite and then switch in the Sentry. But hey, the way Jarvis did it saved time, because you just, you know, just dodge Blizzard forehead. Kingdra has a nice move as well, but we're faster, so we're okay. What do you mean, Sudo would live? Also not the answer. We do still have those. We, we do have more items to check on on Route 12 now. Yeah, well, actually, no, we don't because we don't have we have cut. We can't use cut yet. We have cut, but not hive badge. So we are just going to check these two items through Diglett's Cave. Gold Chikorita. the cutest roadblocks of all time. What the heck was all the, with all this flaffy hate? They both really just KO'd that and Jarvis finds strength here. God, we could have to backtrack to Mount Water again or something. Oh lord, okay, well, you... Okay, well, we know that... Jeez, okay, we know that... We know that Fly can't be behind this, though. So that that's something. We're not gonna ha we're not gonna have to use strengths to get fly. Because going going through Diglett's cave to get uh, your fly can't be behind Diglett's cave basically. So that means the fly can't be behind strength. Alright, so Jarvitz looking like he's going towards Janine now. 
saving that because it's a bit of a long way back and you have to fight a trainer. The experience looking less valuable now for Dragonite. Now Janine gives us two items, so... Oh, I mean, if it's not here... Then... then at this point, it's gotta be... Either... The fabulous prize on... Uh, on the route nor uh, on, after, after, like, the Nugget Hedge Maze. North of Cerulean. Or the pharmacy item, I think. In Signwood. I think we might have checked everything else we can that can have fly in it anyway. So Gabriel is going towards Signwood. We get the <laughs> get the rising magic. All right. Well, this could also lead to fly, I guess. Because... Are you kidding me, dude? <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, so, okay. Well, this opens up more checks. And, you know, Janine is in... Is in... Goodness me. Janine, you know, she's one of the ones that can lead to fly. So... Could be in Mount Mortar. It could be in Victory Road. Oh, it can't be in Victory Road, can it? Oh no, yeah, you can't You can't go over Tojo, alright. But it can be in Met Mortar. Alright, well, Gabriel's checking the pharmacy item. It's not Fly, so it's not the pharmacy item, okay. So, that means it's either the Fabulous Prize, or Behind Waterfall in Mount Mortar. <laughs> See the slow bike up from Jarvis. Ah. Oh, it could also be... Oh, wait, it could also... It could also be on the Rising Badge check on Elm, couldn't it? Oh, my lord. <laughs> well, okay. High five? like wave to each other from crossing trains. Right, but yeah, Mount Mortar does have the highest number of che of, of checks of, you know, places where Fly could be. Yeah, we don't we still don't have cut yet, so have to go through the national park. Don't have the high badge. Gabriel looking to fight those Kant Kanto gym leaders himself. Get the bad news that Janine might be the thing that leads us to where we need to go. Um, Jarvis is checking the strength item in here. This cannot be fly because strength was past the Snorlax. But we're here, we might as well. Could be something else we need to finish the game. Oh, 
or hey, you know, with how often the Dragonite's been dying to it, well, it's, it's, it's not fair. It's not been dying, like, all over the place twice, please, but, you know, when it has died twice, please, it's like, it's, 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 you know, it's, it, it, it we might have had to, like, use more than one revive, you know? Yeah, behind Mount Mortar and Waterfall, there are 13 items in total. Nine just behind Waterfall itself, and four that you could just get with strength, but like we haven't gotten them yet because we didn't have strength. Fly could be any of those items, <laughs> or or it could not. You know, you'd think it would be likely to be here. Gabriel resetting away Surge to save a bit of movement there. You do lose the XP though. Okay, so he is going to go through Rock Tunnel. Fly cannot be here either, as far as we know, unless... Well, I mean, I guess it could be here if, like, say, Flash is behind Mount... is... Is in ma is, is, is you know accessible for Jarvis after waterfall. But yeah, at the moment logically we logically rock, rock tunnel is you know not part of the, not part of the equation. There's the SS ticket for Jarvis. Not really anything important that we'd like to see. We Fly can't be the boat item either. You never have to take the boat to get Fly. There is one check this unlocks, but you know, just... Alright, well there's the Hive badge, alright, well... Jeez. The, the chain continues. We can use Cut now. I mean, we'd, we'd prefer to use Fly, just saying, but uh, we can use Cut now. Even more checks open to us. didn't find Fly, and, you know, yeah, Jarvis is going to head towards the Lake of Rage cut checks now. Now, because we do have strength, while he's here, he might just go east of Mahogany and then loop back to Violet from there. But yeah, it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not nice to have to do these cut checks without Fly. It's it's a long way back if Fly's not here. You gotta bike all the you gotta cut all those trees down again. I guess what you could do is you could you could save before going into the house, right? And then and then the trees would stay cut. That would probably be worth it if it wasn't Fly or anything important, rather. Okay, he can just save here too, yeah. Right, hopefully Gabriel can find his way through Rock Tunnel here. I don't know if he got his machine parts. It wasn't a flower shop check. But Jarvis does not find anything in the cut maze. I guess we'll see if Gabriel has the machine parts. I might have just missed him get it. Yeah, he does have it, okay. Gabriel 
does not want to go through Rock Tunnel again, so he's gonna... He's gonna go this way instead. Oh yeah, the quit was for sure a time save. You have to cut all those trees down again if you go into the house and check the... and check the item in there. Javits has strength now, so he can cut... He, he can... he can... Oh yeah, that's right, Gabriel, sorry. Yeah, yeah, ja yeah, Gabriel can't... can't cut down this tree. Oh, he will have to go back through Rock Tunnel, or faint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He needs the Hive Badge to, to go through here. Yep, you either need... Well, need in, 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 in quotation marks, uh... Flash to get to go through Rock Tunnel to get to the power plant, or we need Cut to cut down the the one tree. He's about to find out. Yeah. Well. Oh, hey, don't, don't, don't do new game. Get get back. Okay, I think you can just reset though. I don't think this has wiped his data or anything. You can you should just be able to reset this. What did Jarvis just get? I was looking at Gab I was looking at Gabriel's screen. Probably just a TM, right? Gabriel probably had his heart in his mouth for a second there. Oh yeah, Earth Badge, there you go, nice, nice, nice. This is, this is pretty miserable for both of these racers. All this, all this stuff they have to do. Where fly? Where is it? Gabriel's going to go back to reset the position of that trainer after after beating him so that he can just go past him to get back to Saffron. And then maybe to Janine? Or I don't think he's fought Sabrina yet either, he could fight Sabrina if he wanted. But it looks like he is going to towards Janine. Oh, if you think, dang it. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm, 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 I'll, I'll, I'm, I'll see if I can look at the tracker. Okay, he did mark it. He has marked it as badger in his tracker, so I guess that that was it. Well, we have Flash now. Fly cannot be behind, so Fly cannot be behind Flash. So, at least that means, you know, we don't have to worry, Jarvis doesn't have to worry about it being in Rock Tunnel. He's gonna do the Rising Badge check though. Is it here? Or are we gonna have to go somewhere else? It's here! The, the search is over! The Elm Rising Badge check! God, this wasn't even the last place it could have been, you know? We, we still... we... we could have... <laughs> We could, we might have had to go back into Kanto again and check the cut items, you know. Ugh, but but we're <laughs> we can find uh, one hour fifty four minutes in. 
we can finally, you know, zip around the region a bit, pick up these, pick up these checks, get get some get some speed going here. All right. Well, there's there's Gabriel's rising badge check, rising badge item rather. So you know. Once he goes back to Elm, he'll get his fly. Yeah, Jarvis has strength now. He can... He can do a bunch of these. We still don't have the clear bell yet, so we can't enter Tin Tower and can't knock everything out here. Can't can't open the whole chamber, but he has flash as well, does Jarvis, so he can open two of the three chambers he hasn't opened yet. I mean, we already had one stacked Ruins of Elf Chamber. I guess we can't be too upset that one of them was a dud. Gabriel is fighting Sabrina while he's here as well. Uh, yep, there we go. It's cleaning up his cut checks now. He can access West Canto as well, now that he has cut. I mean, he could also access it with Waterfall, but yeah, you know. You don't want to... You, don't, you, you cut as much faster. Gabriel having trouble on that, on Sabrina's Gengar. Back again with a vengeance. Jarvis heading through Rock Tunnel first to turn in that machine part and get those Rock Tunnel items. And he will be able to get back easily with, with Fly. Gabriel did reset all of these away. Once he... Once he figured out he couldn't get to Cerulean because he didn't have cuts yet. N there was nothing important here, as far as we know, but... But if he wants to do the machine part checks, he will have to go back and turn in the machine part again. And if he wants to open Misty's gym, he will have to... He will have to go back and, you know... Let's go back and do that. You gotta go into the power plant to even open up that place. I doubt we'll see a Ellie drum sweep on red because you know four times like four times ice weakness, but yeah, I mean you don't want to teach over anything on this Dragonite, I don't think. With the setup move. Gabriel is going to check the fabulous prize. It's the only thing he can check at the moment. He doesn't have the hive badge.
yeah, I mean, this is one of the this is one of the items Fly could have been. Well, we filled out our HMs now. Can't use Whirlpool yet, we don't have the Glacier Badge. behind machine part. But yeah, we'll go into go into West Canto now and see if there's anything here. Now if there is something on the fabulous prize and if Jarvis to get the Glacier Badge anytime soon, or something like, you know, the Clear Bell. Okay, well, the Fabulous Prize didn't give anything, so... But Gabriel has clear, at least cleared out all of this, so if he does want to come back and fight Misty later, it won't take him too long, although, he, yeah, he will have to enter the Power Plant again. But we can access Tin Tower now, the Clear Bell. He's gonna head into Victory Road as well. Yeah, I have clicked Clear Bell, it's not it's not showing up on the tracker. I'll unclick it and re-click it. Track is just uh, not updating, seems. Anyway, just, I don't know, use your imagination. I guess. Imagine that that clear bell icon is. I mean, it's, it, I don't know, it's, it says clear bell, but it's, it's supposed to be orange, alright? Just, I don't know. That's what it should look like. It's, yeah, it's just clear. Like this is that's what it's supposed to look like, right? One item Jarvis can check on this route. He can't check the whirlpool item yet. There we go. There's the clear bell. Third time's the charm. Brand out of wing attacks? Impossible. Oh, the boat! Wow. A boat check, huh? This is a bit of a time consuming check to do for one item. It's not difficult, it just takes a little bit to have to go through these cutscenes.
Yeah, both boat check not giving not giving us anything there. But at least we know now. Off to the more lucrative area, Tin Tower. A total of 15 items behind this. 11 in the tower itself, and four on the four in the Ho -Ho chamber of Ruins of Alf. Maybe the seed will be kind, and all three remaining badges will be in Tin Tower. But I kind of doubt it. <laughs> That's Dugong, I'm pretty sure now, now that I listen to it again. Where was Fly? Fly was the rising badge check. Now Gabriel does not have strength, so he won't he he might not be incentivized to, you know, go back towards towards that check for a while because he won't have the benefit that Jarvis had of having strength, being able to go through ice path and then kind of combo that in. Well, for this race, it's not its not specifically that Jarvis found Fly first because he did like lots of different things to to Gabriel. And it looks like Gabriel is actually heading back to get to, to do that Rising Bash check anyway. Jarvis had been pulling ahead before that. Okay, he's going to check this, this cut item first. The almighty Machop. But Gabriel has done. He did. Or he he has he has done a long, you know, Nugget Hedge Maze check. He has checked the pharmacy item. He's done a few more checks than Jarvitz. I don't think it's the only difference, but it, it, it has played a part, uh, I suppose. Uh, yeah, it, it has played a part. It certainly hasn't helped Gabriel's case here. His 
his game. But he is going to get that fly at any at any rate. I was yeah, I wasn't sure if he would end up doing this because a little less a little less intensified to go this way than Jarvis because he didn't have strength, but I suppose besides this You know, his options would be to head back into Kanto, which, you know is also bad. <laughs> but there it is. There's HMO2 fly for Gabrielle. Two hours eleven minutes in. Ugh. Nasty. So yeah, we didn't see anything in Tin Tower, but we still have the Ho Chamber. Dang, there really was just nothing in Tin Tower, huh? Looks like Jarvis is heading to do Erica. Two items on him. On this check. But there are four fights, and they're, they're, they're decently high leveled. But Jarvis' Dragonite has doubled up a fair bit itself, so. Well. Hopefully, he'll be okay. not check the item in the in the house on this route. It it wasn't anything, but we'll see if he goes back for it. Yeah, he's going back for it. There's the clear bell. Well, he cut the tree anyway, but so I have to go through the... Well, I mean... You can't call this Viridian Forest, I mean, come on. Shadow of his former self. We got for us today the boulder badge. Thank you, thank you. Just looking for the glacier badge and the thunder badge. Jarvis is going to fight Chuck just now. He hasn't checked the pharmacy item himself, so for him there's four items over here. not used to having <laughs> fly. You can fly to Cyanwood just as soon as you tag it from the water. And you save a little bit of time doing that.
this is something Jarvis didn't do. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't set the the fly point to the elite four. He did not fight the rival in Victory Road. Gabrielle's probably just buying items here. An elite four play at this stage would be bold, and he is going for it. Well, well, well. Oh, well, there's nothing on Chuck. If there's something here, this could definitely swing things in Gabriel's favor. Jarvis gonna do some of the West Canto checks. Oh, Mewtwo has dra- oh, that's unlucky. Dragon Breath into Mega Horn Miss into Dragon Breath, para full para. Into Dragon Breath crit, but at least this time we hit Mega Horn. Hey, Brock also has a Mewtwo, alright. So the the fully evolved the the level um it's a it's a there's a randomized setting for what level you want to force fully evolved Pokemon on 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 your opponents. And it's set to level fifty for these races. So anything you see that's level fifty or higher will be fully evolved on your opponents. But bef but before that could be anything. Which I think is basically like red, blue, and then like the odd other Pokemon on some of the stronger trainers. Like maybe Blaine, one of Blaine's does. <laughs> Job is stalling, so it, so he's, he's, he's stalling the soaking out of Destiny Bonds. <laughs> hey, this works. Destiny Bond does only have 5 PP. Yeah, the Route 4 check as well. We're seeing some nasty checks here that, that, that's, that these races are feeling forced into. There are some, you know... Slightly nicer checks that we haven't seen from either of them. Blaine's a bit of a nicer check. Although I guess not too much nicer. Well, it's a little nicer. He only has three Pokemon. And you get to unlock Blue as well if you find out you have to fight him later. Uber <laughs> Jarvis. Oh dear. He is literally a father, just saying. on any of this. Looks like Jarvis. Well, we know the fabulous prize isn't anything, but you know, we don't know anything about the the cut locked item up here. Or Misty.
You really want to find the the Thunder Badge before the Glacier Badge, if you're Jarvis. You don't want to have to open up all those Whirlpool checks. You don't want to be like, well, guess I'm going to go fight, fight Claire now, you know? It's nice to... It's, it's nice when you're a little bit lo more limited in what you have to check. Oh, the Ninetales is back! The Ninetales, no! Oh, it was brought up, you know? It was brought up at the start that Ninetales is never gonna forget Ice Beam. You know, we saw Ninetales on the Sprout Tower, Elder, but but Lance has been around for, you know, since Red and Blue. He's got to be an old man by now. Wait, what the heck just happened? <laughs> you just died one hit to a better now. What even happened there? Jeez, I'm... <laughs> I mean, even with a crit, I'm surprised. And that would KO Dragonite from full. Okay, well now he's just dodging blizzards. That's... that's the strat. He's... Okay, yeah, it does about half. So it might have been a range. Alright, this time... We set up in time for the Nine Tails. But there's Lance down. This will unlock two more checks for Gabrielle. Meanwhile, Javits, he can go and fight Misty now. These two badges could be pretty much anywhere at this point, and it won't, like anywhere we can reach anyway. And if the Glacier badges first, that will open up even more places for us to look. All right, here we go. First check for Gabrielle. Okay. Nothing on Elm. We have one more check in Tin Tower. Which Gabriel's not done, I don't think. Yeah, he's just not. Do he's just not gone to Tin Tower. So you know, he is. This, hey, this is this is efficient, I suppose. There was nothing in Tin Tower at all, but and there's nothing on Misty either. Okay. Where to next, Jarvitz? He looks like he's going towards Blaine. What else is there for Jarvitz after this? Is this it? I can't. Can't think of anything else right now. I mean, it could be Blaine or Blue. Uh, it could be Dragon's Den, yeah. We haven't seen that yet. There are those two items before Whirlpool.
Nothing on Blaine. Looks like we're going to Claire. Okay, while we're here, <laughs> we can upgrade our waterfall. I don't know if it's really going to make that much difference at this point, but he's doing it. Oh, he's, oh, he's not even teaching surf, he's teaching jump kick. I don't know about that, but like, I suppose if you're setting up X attacks, it, it, uh, yeah, I can, I can see it there. Oh, I really don't know about that. Ancient power? Over Thunderbolt? He's just going all in on physical moves. But yeah, no, uh, no, no, nothing on the Elite Four, unfortunately for Gabriel. So, Jarvis firmly in the driver's seat now. I suppose it makes sense that you'd want to set up your your X attacks and then sweep and then just you know be able to use your physical moves to sweep things. But I think it's a bit early to get rid of Thunderbolt for Ancient Power. You maybe do that before Red. He is like way over leveled now though, so not like it's likely to make a huge difference whether he has Thunderbolt or Ancient Power at this point. As long as you don't end up needing Thunderbolt, this, the way Jarvis has done it is faster than, than doing it later. to put all of these checks together. He hasn't done an, he hasn't done any of these checks around Union Cave yet, and now that he's saved that for after he went through Tin Tower, he can do all this. Not too far off from being able to see these Dragon's Den items. One more trainer. <laughs> Why is it a Glacier Badge? Okay, well at least this means that we can actually check more items here. I guess at least, I guess you know, it, it could have been in worse places, but like, you know, it's it's annoying that that wasn't our last badge because now we have more places to go. Like you don't want to have to check the whirlpool locked item on the way to Victory Road, you know. But hey, maybe we'll just get the Thunder Badge here. Come on, Claire, be nice. Okay, be be nice 
Uh, you got a second chance to be nice. Come on, Claire. Wait, actually, I have the go mode item. No, okay. Potion, <laughs> potion, and antidote. Yeah, yeah. I felt sorry for you, so I gave you this antidote. Thanks, 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 thanks a lot. All right. Well. Okay. Well, probably World Islands next. be lost item, please no. Into red scale. Ugh. Into actually the last check was on blue all along. I don't think we even have the silver wing. Not that it's not not that it's particularly appealing to check it to check Zaldukia. Yeah. Jarvis has already pumped all his candies into Dragonite anyway. Gabriel's had the the bad news that there was <laughs> nothing in Tin Tower or in Slowpoke Well or in any of the Union Cave checks he just did. None of those chambers, you know, and he gets Whirlpool. I bet he feels great about that. The red scale. Okay. This teases a little bit more, why don't you? There's the sun badge. Alright, alright. We're in go mode. After 2 hours 35 minutes. Longest seed. There, there's been one that's been over three hours. It's pretty unlikely that this one will go over three hours. But you know, ice moves exist. It's never really over, especially when you have a a main with a four times weakness. Right, so Java's going with a little bit more power there. A blast. He's been. He's likely going to set up an X accuracy, so he doesn't have to worry about its low, well, it's not low accuracy, but it is 95%, and, you know, this will mean his jump kicks won't miss either. They are both 95% accurate moves, but, you know, you don't want to miss anything against red and have to re redo the fight. But let's see, let's see what red's got in store for us.
Okay, well... At least Red was nice to us this seed. Just it is sailing a, little, sailing a little close to the wind though, with with spike cannon potentially hitting five times. But yeah, easy setup against Bell Awesome. He Red liked it so much, he, he brought it back in the end. But there we go. That's, uh... That is it. We made it, everybody. Jarrett's wins in 239.08. GG. Gabriel Campos has three badges left to get. The Boulder badge was on Erica. The Glacier badge was in Dragon's Den, and the Thunder badge was in Whirl Island. So that's what he has to do. Gabriel has forfeited from the race at this point. Probably was hoping to get what get those items right at the end there. But I am joined by Jarvis now. Uh, the, the, yeah, Jarvis, this was this was definitely one of the seeds of all time. Let's just let's just say. How did how did you feel about that one? Can you hear me? I can hear you now. Yes. Oh, okay. Thank fuck that seed's over. Sorry for swearing. My god, you, that was you can't you can't say that. Okay, it's all right. We won't tell any, we won't tell anybody. I mean, I kind of I, I can't I can't blame you too much after seeing what you went through this. Um. This seed. Well, so first of all, the ROM was terrible because seven badges. Um, with the guy on Route Twelve that I reset, thinking I'd find a badge somewhere in all of North. You would Dota think so, wouldn't Canto. you? You would think so. <laughs> Had to go back for him, and then Surf was behind there. Um, that Elder fight was trash and hiding Fog Badge. Um, let's see, Erica had Bulber, which was, you know... Are, are we sure Toxic didn't make this wrong? This was extremely bad. Anyway, um, in addition, Fly, everything in the seed took you away from Janine, who had Rising Badge. Like, you didn't have cuts, so you couldn't do the loop around. You had to bike back up there. You know, you didn't have... West Canto access from the other side either, um, via waterfall. Um, actually, maybe we did. Well, we did, but I don't remember if that was until later. Well, you, the you classic... had, you had, well, Rising Badge was on Janine. Oh yeah, true. Duh. So yeah, you couldn't go that way. I'm fried. Um, and then you have the classic Glacier and Dragon's Den. Of course, of course. Yeah, I was checking all the other stuff, and I was pretty sure it was just in Dragon's Den, but I'm like, I should probably do everything else. And then I picked up the red scale, and I'm like, oh shit, this red scale is going to be, um, go directly into <laughs> Lost red Item. Scale into Lost Item, into nothing, and then you have to fight Blue or something, but, uh... Yeah. Or E4, <laughs> yeah, I was, I was totally prepped for that part. 
Gabriel did oh. Elite Four, and uh, you know he, 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 he. I mean, you both had like you know it. It was kind of one of those seeds where it was going to be painful for the both of you. you know, yeah, you it both... was just the layout of the seed and everything pulling you away from it being so open. Everything pulled you away from. Oh, you can reset that back. That's fine. Oh, you don't need to do Janine right now. That's fine. You can go do all this other million things you unlocked. And no, like. Like it just led you away from where you needed to go. Very evil logic on that seed. Um, on the other hand, um, you know, managed to pull through it. The Dragonite was great. It was a great find. Did uh, Gabriel find that? Yep, you both ran the Dragonite. Okay. Um... He did and have a I different. Thought... He, he did. He did end up using a different move set to you. I think, uh, in my opinion, you you had the superior move set because you were able to cover more things with with waterfall. I think that was definitely the play to teach that when you did. Yeah, I should have taught it earlier, honestly, but I was holding out for surf. Yeah. And then I realized surf was going to be a pain. And I'm like, as soon as I commit waterfall, I learn wing attack on next Pokemon. I'm like, oh, well, maybe I could have just went full physical. But, I mean, what, what, but you know, you see, yeah. you, you, there were still things like that ride on that you would have wanted waterfall. Yeah, for. yeah, that was the entire reason I taught that. Yeah. I was doing fine until then. I'm like, yeah, ride on's kind of a problem. I was hoping not to see a ride on or a golem with the moves that I had. Um, and then I wiped to Jasmine and I forgot if I had saved in front of her or not. And I didn't want to be that guy that reset 20 minutes of progress. Yeah, I mean, we, right. saw, well, well, we, yeah, we, I mean, you, we saw you reset on Whitney, and then like, uh, I mean, thank goodness you'd use the PC in. Yeah. No, in, no, in, I did that on purpose. Tower. I knew but I yeah. did that because normally you do for the bike shop. Okay, then, okay. But then you had to go get my fridge back on the bike shop again. <laughs> um, it's like if you had if you had one more revive, it might have been all right the first time you did Jasmine as well because you had exhausted yeah. all five of all five blizzards at that point. Yeah, I was just, um, yeah, I just didn't buy revives. I realized that in Radio Tower, I'm like, yeah, I'm just dying a lot. I mean, it's a Dragonite. You're going to die to, like, all the ice moves. Gengar had Blizzard. I mean, yep. that was uh, a problem. Yeah, we saw Gengar a few times. The Mew also had Icy Wind. And uh, the Ninetales had Ice Beam. Mm -hmm. The Lantern also had Blizzard, but it missed. At least one of the times it missed. Um, yeah, that was a really weird seed. I mean, I'm okay with how I played it. I'm kind of upset, like, with all the backtracking I did, and there were some things I definitely could have done better. But I don't necessarily think most of my decisions were that bad. It's like, you just, you, 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 you just don't know thing. when, you just don't know or, when to, like, Jasmine hold, thing, I, mean. I think you just don't know when to hold out on, like, when, on, you know, when you, whether you want to, Try and hold out for an item that lets you do everything at once in that area, or like, yeah. but like, but like, but like, if I don't do that right now, what if flies there? You know, this it's always it's always yeah. tricky. That, that, that kind yeah, of thing. it was like there's actually I did that exact thing whenever I backtracked down from Violet to uh for, and I ended up getting cut an expansion card. Yeah. But I was like, I have four items to check here. I had the one on Elm, the one in Cherry Grove, and the two on Twenty Seven. There is Rising Badge, I guess there's E4, and then there's, um, well actually, but I didn't have access to E4, because Expansion Card was down there, and Cut was down there. And obviously no Rising Badge yet. Um, and then I also, and I was like, I could get Red Scaler Rising Badge, but I mean, I'm gonna take the two and three. And then I got some useful stuff. Um, I thought I would be a ish because I'm not sure how so with the weird fly logic the soft sand girls having mystery egg into cut was um I wasn't sure if he would do that yeah you did you did you did both fight soft sand girls uh okay well we you didn't delay that too much at the same time when you get 155 fly you're not expecting to <laughs> be ahead or win the race yeah, Gabrielle um, ended up getting like, I think it was two eleven fly or something. Oh god, yeah. This, I mean, this seed yeah. was awful for it. If you, unless you did Janine, I mean, if you did Janine early, you would get Rising Badge and 
early and bike back up. Like, you'd keep that. No, I mean, um, your reading was, like, similar in a lot of ways. Like, uh, Gabriel did, uh, he, I think Gabriel did, like, hold out on trying to lump some more checks together. Like, he was able to do, like, all of Union together, but, like, there was nothing there anyway, you know? So. Yeah, I should have done that, but I was just, I honestly thought the entire time I wrote off Fly. I'm like, this is a Fly the Seed. Fly is in this spot in Cyanwood. I am never heading in that direction again. And then when I got Fly, I'm like, oh. I mean, I, I knew it could be in other places, but I was planning everything like it was flyless. So I'm like, okay, well, I can't just sit here and think. I have to go do something. So I didn't the rooms. And then I'm like, well, I was like in the well. I'm like, yeah, I should have waited in case I found Clearbell somewhere. Oops. I don't think you did a whole lot that was out of fly logic at that point. Like you did the whole... East the whole of... strength section. And... Yeah, the whole, you did. You did the whole of that, but like, but like, but like, even then, you could, yeah. you know, you could justify that by saying, and the well, cut I checks just, were. I can just loop back around anyway. Yeah, that was why I did that loop instead of going to Cyanwood. Yeah, I was like, do I go to Cyanwood or do I go to the loop, and or Cyanwood or go down, and yeah, that was a good choice there at least. Um. It was, that was pretty painful. Oh, let's see. <laughs> um, I forget where Cut was. Was Cut maybe out of logic at the time? I don't remember. So Cut was the mystery egg check. Yeah, yeah, uh, no, Hive Badge, sorry. Hive Badge was, uh, was, was in Mount Mortar behind Waterfall. Behind Waterfall. So that actually, yeah. those checks were not out of logic for Fly at the time. Okay. But yeah. Yeah, so it could have been like in one of the Kanto cut checks or something like or that. Or the Johto cut check, yeah. Or the jo or the Johto cut check you didn't you hadn't done at the yeah, time. Yeah, that I hadn't done yet. Yeah, because I did. Uh, I forgot to save like at the bottom of in mahogany, going up to those three. I'm like, I should save scum this. Man, I'm gonna look like an idiot for save scumming three quarters of the way up. <laughs> and I guarantee I look <laughs> no, like an idiot. It's fine, it's fine. <laughs> look, it's look, it's all right. I mean, I, I, you know. I mean, that seed was just... I, this was... This is probably the worst I played like in a ROM this bad. Probably. I, you, you, well, there, I think like, there I, was no E4, but... I don't know. Yeah, I mean, there was, there, was, there was... I think there was just a lot of movement that neither of you were used to. Like, both of you hit your fair share of obstacles oh, yeah. of this, this race. Well, part uh, of that was me doing... Um, I couldn't fall asleep until 2 a.m. last night, and I had to take my daughter to school at 7, so Ooh. that didn't help. Um, but, I mean, I'm not going to blame it on the sleep. I just did some really stupid movement and hit some optionals. Um, this, is, this is when like, I'm glad that the preschool I work at doesn't doesn't uh, doesn't 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 open till 9 a.m., so uh, well, <laughs> nice for me. They open at 8, but, you know, we have to get up, get her ready, yeah. get her packed, and then with traffic... So I had to wake up at 7, so I guess I got 5 hours of sleep. But, uh, yeah, I I hated this ROM, and I never want to see it again. Um, Yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah, let, me, that's let me open up, does chat have any questions for me? Because I'm sure there's a bunch of stuff I did uh, that they, was stupid uh, what, that I well, about. One, well, uh, they apparently you missed the very first item on Route 29, but that didn't end up being anything anyway, so... I missed the first item on 29. That yeah, that's what... makes sense. Because... It, was, it, it wasn't anything, but... Uh, that's like one thing that they said. Yeah, no. That, that makes a lot of sense. Because I realized my repel was... My repel lasted forever. I'm like, my repel should be off here. And it didn't. I'm like, the heck did I do? <laughs> I should have figured that one out. There was also one funny thing where you, like, th the moment you used your last Sacred Fire PP, you got frozen by that Mel Tank in Slowpoke Well. I thought that was pretty funny. Yeah. Uh, stupid Mel Tank. Yeah, the, uh, the ice moves were everywhere early. Towards the end, I guess it didn't matter because Wing Attack just killed everything. Yeah, you just, like, one-shotting stuff. And then, like, you just dodged all the Blizzard on Sabrina. It's really, it's, it's, uh, well, not yeah. all of them, but, like, enough of them. Yeah, I just needed to dodge, uh... I was just—I had enough revives to revive all those, so I'm like, ah, oh, whatever. And when I did Sabrina, I was like, wait a second, this can't even be HMO two. It—it could have been. You, oh yeah, you, yeah. There's no reason uh, why it couldn't have been. 
Yeah, I guess not. The but, sudden um, bad Sabrina thing always throws me off. Yeah. I mean, we haven't seen... A, I don't think we've seen a lot of things on Sabrina this tournament. I yeah. think of it. Um, Morning wasn't yeah. required, though. So, that was a win. Yeah, there you and go. Both of my racist fly. Thunder Badge was a go mode item. Except I didn't get it last time, but, you know. Thunder Badge go mode on a seed, on, on a seed that Garfield the Lightning commentates. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, but... Um, hey, hey, got, I, mean, got, I, got, didn't, I didn't even get to interview last time, so... <laughs> <laughs> got some questions about uh you know whether you, you know were you looking to main switch off the dragonite uh when you just well, after you being hit by those ice moves or were you uh, i like, like was you did... that's why i yeah. looked in cycling road real quick but um i think i saw two executes a swine up and a crocona now of those the for alligator is actually like okay mm -hmm. except for when um Every time I made a fire alligator, very bad things happen, and <laughs> I get I, I need to update that. That would have been true. This I race, a to be fair, mainable for alligator, because <laughs> that was uh, this was very bad. Still, <laughs> even without that. Yeah, I mean, Gabriel but checked if, cycling road, and there was like he didn't see anything good there either. If there was something good there, I would have done Janine early. <laughs> um, and checked well, it, and then like everything would else nice. would have, yeah, everything else would have been a lot less like bad. Would, like like that that, that would have been your track. Seventh... I would have found fly at first. That would have been your seventh there. badge too. You wouldn't have had to go yeah. to get the rainbow badge again. So I guess we weren't hard locked. Now that I think about it, because you could have done that. Um. Oh, and then I did the boat when I did a bit early because I was out of wing attacks, and I'm like, and I thought about it. I'm like, I can use the boat for a free heal. And I figured, why the heck not? Even though I hadn't, like, plenty of elixirs. I just figured I'd probably have to do the boat anyway, because it was getting down to that point where it's like, which bad check is it? Yeah. Well, yeah, I, but yeah. Yeah, I, you can... I did not like this seat. Well, you can yeah. you can put it you can put it behind you now. Uh, it's it's over. <laughs> oh no! It... I'm gonna I'm gonna save the seed, and Why? I'm gonna like one oh, day no. um, in like three years or something. <laughs> I'll yeah, rename the file and give it to someone for a race <laughs> that I can't do. <laughs> so if you uh, ever have me make your race file, watch out for the seed. But now you've now you've spoiled your evil plan. No, no, they 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 won't remember. They'll, and if they do, it'll okay. be too far into the race. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a second. They'll 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 all just uh, they'll all just find a find a wild mutie you guys missed or something instead, and it'll be really easy. Oh, that was another thing I wanted to talk about. The reason I uh f I forgot to talk to the uh, Murkrow in Rocket Hideout. Mm -hmm. Um, so there's actually a reason behind this, and Snowbear trolled me. So, in this ROM, the, uh, the rockets were named Boomer. Yeah. Okay, so in Radio Tower, there was a Boomer Jarvitz, followed by a Boomer Thirst, please. And we're, like, two of the oldest of our group that always hangs out. So I was, like, laughing at that. And then I saw, um, and then the guy that's right next to the Murkrow was also Boomer Jarvitz with a Mewtwo. And I was just like, okay, Snowbear, I freaking get it. I'm a boomer. Haha, ha, you're so funny. And I was just like, thinking of all the ways I'd get back at him and be upset. I was so upset, I forgot to talk to the Murkrow. <laughs> so wow. I, I literally got trolled by the uh, the name of the trainer there. That's, that's quite something. <laughs> yeah, and then there were... Yeah, I think that was like... The problem with this ROM is, like, usually in crappy ROMs like this, something funny happens. I guess that was it for the funnies. The boomers. Yeah, I guess so. Uh <laughs> I'm going to watch this back at some point. Uh, maybe not it's listen probably... to your audio, because I'll just probably just scroll through the chat instead. See what everyone's yelling at me if saying how bad it is. I, was, I think I think everyone I think people were more just you know let it end 
gotten it yet kind of thing most of the time. Yeah. But yeah, some of those options were stupid, like the one on 32. Like, I never hit that guy. I usually go the other way. And <laughs> I don't remember why I go the other way. Well, well, now now hopefully you'll never hit him again. Oh no, it'll it'll happen again. Don't Just like that. how I forgot the item finder house and remembered at some point. That's right. We always we always strive to be better next time. Can't believe I forgot the item on twenty nine. I would have like never found that if that was important. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. I think we've probably talked for long enough at this point. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's good. Um, we have. Thanks we have so couple... much for. Having me, great job, yeah, speed gaming. Awesome. I assume that race that started an hour after mine is over because my seed was trash, which means theirs wasn't. Uh, well, it's 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 not in grey on the schedule anymore, so I assume it it, 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 may, it may well be over by now. Um, oh. I don't know for sure though, but but uh, all I see on the schedule at the moment is that we've got uh, Mulmachan versus Andril at 8 p.m. Eastern, and Oddlay versus Pitlovin at 9:30 p.m. Eastern. And I'm and commentating we... that second one after well, my daughter goes to bed. Yeah, I will. I will not be awake. But, uh, yeah, good that's luck commentating. Fair. Yeah, I'm gonna commentate. And Oddlay said I should have some beers um, earlier today because I made a joke about having them last time, and I did. Um, maybe after this scene, I do need them. I wasn't actually going to, but. Maybe I do. Well, if you want to find out whether Javits drank beer tonight, 9:30 p.m. Eastern on Speed Gaming Three, you know, you know what, you know where to be. Yeah. But yeah, there you go. That's a uh, one-one for you, Javits. Now. Uh... Yeah. Oh, can I get an? I I just want a Brom where Fly is in a somewhat reasonable logic path, or I guess it was because of Surf. Um, I guess Fly wasn't actually that bad in Logic, technically, if you just did Janine, but I just want a normal-ish ROM, like, not within, like, the 99 percentile of ran like, crazy crap. And so far that hasn't happened in two races, so we'll see next time. Thank you so Logic much for having me, Garfield. Thank you so much for commentating. More the views this way. Yeah. <laughs> and thanks, Speed Gaming. Yeah, thank you very much, everybody, and hopefully we'll see you for future races. Bye, everyone. See you next time.